everyone. Welcome to my next video. In this one, we are going to dive in using Metabox settings pages and color pickers. So you can see I have two colors set here, which is a primary and a secondary, which is what I have set on the back end on my Metabox settings page. So you can see as I change these to any color here of my choosing, if I click save, and refresh, I'm automatically getting those um, updated on the front end without having to go into oxygen. Um, because we're doing this and setting it up so we have a variable that we're pulling into Oxygen Builder's um, global colors using a variable, and this is gonna allow us to set our colors right from the back end, and it's gonna update wherever we're using that global color. All right, so we're gonna get started here. First thing I am going to do is we are going to install code snippets. So for that, we're just gonna to go to plugins, add new, type in code snippets. It should be the first one here. And I'm going to activate that. All right. And looks like I have an update for Metabox here. I'll do that quickly. I just have everything installed here and I input my licenses. Um, other than that, I pretty much have a blank install. Um, so let's go over to Metabox and we're gonna start by making a settings page. So we're going to now click new settings page. I'm gonna type the title this, my settings page. And the important thing that we need to keep in mind here is this field here. So what this is, is a option name. It's not to be confused with the setting page ID. It is actually different. Um, and it allows you to set this. So what I'm going to do is all lowercase is my settings page. So it's gonna match kind of my title, but I'm just going to do underscores where if we go ahead and hit publish, you'll see that our ID just has dashes. Um, but now that we have that set, we are going to need this um, once we get to our code section. So I'm going to leave this page open. But before we get there, I am just going to um, set some other things here. So we're going to change the location of this from um, below comments to below settings. And I'm gonna change my icon to this paintbrush because we're gonna be working with colors. And I think that's all we're gonna to need to do for this one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit update or save if you haven't done that yet or publish. Next, I am going to jump over to custom fields, which I'm just gonna open in a new tab right now. And we're gonna to go to add new. And we're gonna call this um, color fields. And under our settings tab, I want to change my location from post type to settings page and choose my settings page. Next, we're going to jump back over to the fields and we're going to add two fields here. Both are going to be color pickers. The first one I'm going to title primary color picker. And I'm not gonna enter any other data. You can put in labels if you need to, but I'm not going to for the sake of this video. And I'm going to add another color picker. And we're gonna set this to secondary color picker. And again, I'm not gonna add any labels for the sake of this video, but you can if you need to. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. And again, I'm gonna leave this open just because we are gonna need our um, IDs. And what I'm going to do is now jump to my settings page. Again, I'm just gonna open it in a new tab. And you'll see we have both of our fields showing up here. And let's go ahead and just choose our values here. Um, you can enter anything you want, choose anything you want. Um, We'll do that, a purple and a green. Go ahead and save. 
And now what we need to do is come over to our code snippets. We're gonna go to add new. And in here, we're gonna call this um, color picker code. And I'm just gonna copy and paste over my code here, but I'm, I'll walk through it as we go. So what we're doing is adding an action in our WP head, which is gonna put this at the top. We are entering, entering our style tag, then going into our root so that we can set a variable. And then this is where the Metabox um, helper option um, data comes in, is in this PHP value here. So what I'm gonna do is we have our opening PHP tag. We're gonna enter our variable that we're setting for this. So in my case, I'm doing primary color because we're setting it for our primary. We're using the RWMB meta helper. And what we want to do is grab our primary color picker, which is our field ID right here. And you can see I have that set in my comment here, color picker ID. This next line, uh, we don't change anything. We just leave it straight as how Metabox has it. And our next field is going to be our option name. So again, jumping back here is this field here. So what we're going to do is just paste those in. And you do want to make sure that you have them in quotes. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And we're going to echo our variable. And then we're going to close our PHP and make sure you put in your uh, semicolon to close your primary. And then we're going to repeat the same exact thing on the secondary. And this time, all we're doing is changing our secondary color variable from primary to secondary. And again, changing our color picker ID from primary to secondary. Everything else is the same. And I'll quickly go to the Metabox documentation here, just so you can see what I had. So what we want to go to, I believe is under extensions and WB settings pages. And if we scroll almost all the way to the bottom, you can see that I'm pulling this getting the field value. And this is where I, I got the code to enter here. And again, I'm just swapping in my data in place of the field ID, the option name, and the variable. And then I'm adding to that by adding in my root inside my style. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes and activate. And now I'm going to jump into oxygen. So I'm going to go over to my pages. Again, I'm going to open in a new page or in a new tab, and we're going to edit with oxygen. And you'll notice once I get in here, I have a completely blank page. I don't have anything set up yet. So all I'm going to do is add two sections in here. And then I'm going to come over to uh, my manage and settings, global styles and colors. I'm going to choose global colors, add color, and we're going to name this primary. And what we want to do is now type in our variable. So we're going to do um, var primary. I'm going to add that. And you can see it's pulling in our purple already. And the reason we entered our code like we did here is so that we can actually pull it into oxygen here. Um, if we just did everything in the style sheet back here, this would show blank. So that's why I put this in an actual code snippet as well. Um, not to mention we need to do that in order to pull out um, the PHP. We can't run that in an actual style sheet, but it goes um, even with 
um, setting color variables. If you do put them in a style sheet inside Oxygen, your color is gonna show blank. Um, but if you put it in either code snippets or advanced scripts, it also works in there. You'll get the same outcome where it's gonna actually show the color as well. So let's go ahead and add another. And this one we're gonna call secondary. And we're just gonna repeat the same thing. We're gonna go var. And type in our variable and add. And you can see we're getting our green there as well. So I'm gonna just quickly click save. And now I'm gonna come up to my top background color. And you can see that I have my colors available here now. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on my bottom section here, except I'm gonna choose the second color. And if I click save and jump to the front end, you are gonna see that I'm pulling both of those colors. Now, let's go ahead and jump back to our settings page. So I'm, I'm done with this because we have all of our code in there. So I'm gonna click on my settings page and we're gonna change the purple to, um, let's go to a, a hot pink here and then our green will change to, um, let's go to a deep red here. We'll go ahead and click save. And if I click refresh on the front end, you can see my colors change. And I did not have to go into oxygen to do this. So this gives us the ability to edit our colors directly from the back end without having to go into oxygen again to change them. And by setting them as global colors, anywhere that we've used that color, it's gonna show or change that color for us. So it's just a way to give clients the ability to change colors if need be um, from the back end using a color picker from Metabox. And I'll post this code here um, down in the comments so you guys have access to it. And certainly if you have questions, please do let me know. Um, this was a pretty quick tutorial and um, pretty straightforward thanks to the Metabox documentation um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have questions, let me know down in the comments below.